friends, what a disappointing game. The 49ers suffered their first loss to the Cleveland Browns, 19 to 17. They walked into this game like they were the big dogs of the NFL and they wanted a fight, but unfortunately, once they were punched in the face, they could not respond. Pre-game, Trent Williams, Debo Samuel, and Ayuk actually got in a physical altercation with some of the Browns players, which for me as a fan made me think, okay, like they're not taking this game lightly. They're getting up for this. There won't be an emotional letdown. And to be fair, to start the game, the 49ers got a stop on defense and immediately scored a touchdown. His 15th straight touch game with a touchdown, Christian McCaffrey scored. Unfortunately, that's where the momentum stopped. They couldn't get anything together offensively. Debo Samuel went out early with a shoulder injury, and the the Purdy IU connection was just off. The 49ers were getting dominated in the trenches, which was really rattling Purdy, and the O-line was really struggling. Trent Williams suffering an ankle injury mid-game also didn't help with that. Brock Purdy had the worst game of his career. He was 12 of 27 with one touchdown and one in our interception but overall he just like looked extremely inaccurate very rattled not poised like we are normally uh accustomed to seeing seeing him Brock Purdy had the worst game of his career he was 12 of 27 for one interception and one touchdown but he could have thrown multiple interceptions actually if you look at the drive where he threw his interception it's a great example of how terrible the offense looked throughout the entire game so the drive started with thro Purdy throwing an almost interception to a linebacker that wasn't caught then Kyle called a run to Christian McCaffrey which was stopped in the backfield for a loss of negative yards and then there was another pass called and that was the one that Purdy did throw the interception on also, Purdy just looked extremely inaccurate and not poised like we're used to seeing him. I know he was missing a lot of his weapons and that he was facing a lot of pressure from the Browns defense, but if he's going to be stopping those system quarterback narratives, I do think he needed to respond better today. He looked very scattered. Whenever he was, he fumbled multiple times, it felt like he couldn't hold onto the ball. And whenever he was being sacked, he did this weird like spin sporadic thing where he would throw the ball forward as he was going down which could have led or should have led to other interceptions and did lead to penalties. Penalties were another huge issue for this game for the 49ers. They had false starts on offense, game extending drives on defense when they were getting penalties there. The refs were really terrible for both teams, but two calls in particular screwed over the 49ers. One was a missed call on a fumble from PJ Walker, and the other one was in the last few minutes of the game, the refs called an unnecessary roughness penalty on to Sean Gibson for hit, a hit to the head. But when they replayed the call, it was very clearly a clean hit to the shoulder, not only to fans, but to the broadcasting crew when they were replaying it. The 49ers can't blame the refs though, because they played terrible all game. To their credit, championship teams find a way to win, even if they have to grind it out, and both offensively and defensively, they set themselves up for a last-second victory. On defense, Diomero Lenore made up for a mistake earlier in the game by getting a interception in the last quarter of the game. Then, after not doing anything with it on offense, Nick Bosa ended up sacking P.J. Walker and holding the Browns to a field goal and giving the ball back to the 49ers to be able to win the game last minute. Then Brock Purdy ended up distributing the ball to Ayuk, who got lots of yak, and to Jennings, and set the 49ers up in field goal range in order to make a game-winning field goal. Jake Moody had missed a field goal earlier in the game, and this is why Super Bowl caliber teams like the 49ers should have re-signed Robbie Gold and not relied on a rookie kicker, because Jake Moody ended up missing the game-winning field goal and the 49ers lost. Moving forward, we will have to see what injuries linger and how the 49ers and Jake Moody bounce back.